not scared because technically they should run away to the coast and uh, save themselves but that's how life is here at sea at the mercy of nature always What's good you guys welcome back to another day from the high seas we are in the south china sea presently going to east china sea and korea we've got two storms which are in our way i'll show you how we are going to tackle that and you can see behind me there's a you know black cloud patch developing so something is cooking up i'm going to go inside and start with the route passage just for an overview right now we have left the singapore strait We are just parallel to the Vietnamese coast, and you see all this pink part. This is all the numerous wrecks and shallow patches here, and uh, we got to go either east, east of Taiwan or west of Taiwan. This is the Taiwan continent, and right now we are headed for the west of Taiwan. I'll tell you why, and then we go to Korea, which is Guangyang. Okay, it's a, it's a very tough word to pronounce. So. Excuse me for that. Anyway, so the storm is developing somewhere here. Let's go to the weather forecast area, the computer, and I'll show you there better. So you see over here this particular part, which is already passed. This was the cyclone Hinam Nor, one of the strongest cyclones ever, a super typhoon. Luckily, we have escaped that since we were here in the Singapore Strait that time. Now, as you see in our route plan, there is this. circle red circle there is no name yet they have just named it 1455 and this is right in our path to korea so we are going somewhere here now i had made an original passage plan which was going from here i'll show you that in the egdis so while making the passage plan if you see in the background i have the computer here for the weather and the egdis passage plan over here so both go in hand in hand in conjunction sorry for the bad english but uh, yeah this is how i do passage planning over here and let me show you the original route now which we were taking when we departed but in the last 4 hours i had to change it so it was a tough challenge and i learned many things in that so for the original route i'll go to route route planning table editor from here i'm going to open my route which was originally intended to be sailed upon uh tpp tpp to kangyang just kangyang yeah sorry about the spelling so okay i'm going to go to graphic editor now and i'll show you the difference so the orange the orange line was the original course and the uh yeah original plan and the red line is the new plan so you see over here i had to divert the course nadally otherwise you were intending to go you know east of taiwan this is the taiwan here we have to go the taiwan strait now but uh, before we were passing in between these small islands as well it's still not confirmed whether we going to take this or this it depends on the captain so 2542 nautical miles on the original route which was east of taiwan and 2523 which is now west of taiwan so if you are the captain of the ship let me know in the comment section which route you would take according to the also according to the keeping in mind the storm not to forget that whenever we start our coasting in china we encounter the small boats and you see we passed one right now at around 5 cables i'm going to go outside and show you how these taiwanese these are taiwanese fishing boats so let's go out and check it So these are the Taiwanese fishing boats as you see they are doing pair trolling and this guy is alone searching for fish 
I was just working on the computer and I received a new mail from our weather forecast services. They said that both the routes are safe, but they would like to wait till we reach 15 degree north. So right now we are at present position is 08 degree 10. So they said wait till 15 degree and then they will evaluate that whether we should take the route which is east of Taiwan or which is west of Taiwan. I hope you all like the night laps. It's the next day. This is the calm before the storm. As you see, it's absolutely B4 scale 1 or 2. Nothing much. Flat seas, nice blue ocean, blue sky. And we'll go inside and see the latest update with the weather. So, I know what's the plan and what is what are we intending to do. Just got an email from the weather news that the official name of the storm is called Muifa. It's confirmed. And it is heading northwest at the moment and over here turning northeast. I'm sure it's going to, you know, continue its journey till it reaches the land and then dissipates. I have to monitor the barometer at all times. So there's the barometer. Right now the barometer is showing 1010. So almost the same as the weather prediction. And you can see outside like absolutely nil winds. And if we check the wind indicator, east northeast, which is on our starboard 1.2 point starboard bow, 5 knots, which is absolutely nothing. We would like to conquer with master sailing intention, which is going west of Taiwan. So I was right in making the new route. And this particular thing tells you the significant wave height going up to two meters if we follow the east of Taiwan or west of Taiwan and east of Taiwan will be more so they gave a route comparison guys we are having a rescue drill and a abandoned ship drill just in case things go wrong so this is a good practice you know to refresh our memories what to do when an emergency comes up We had this small abandoned ship and rescue boat drill just because you know we are heading into heavy weathers people should be familiarized with how to launch a boat in case something goes wrong of course there could be a man overboard anytime so how to launch a rescue boat so these were the two things which we focused on today and every month we have these drills it's a requirement by the safety of life at sea the solar regulation i'm not going to go into that details it's a bit boring but very much required Tonight, we are going to be passing through a very special area which is a wind farm. Um, let me zoom in. So, this over here is a wind farm, Changhua wind farm. So, I have to do the reporting prior arrival, 8 hours before. And uh, I'll show you how I found out that, oh, there's a reporting required here. So, I have to go to Advent Digital Radio, Signal 6. Since the route requires Taiwan Strait, and if we press on this dot over here, the blue dot, so over here it tells us that, okay, participation in the VTS is mandatory. All vessels passing the wind farm should, you know, report. And I saw that eight hours before. Yeah, yeah, notice. So should we make an ETA report eight hours prior entering the wind farm via the email? So now 
as a second officer i have to write an email and uh, yeah proceed so we need approval only then we can pass through this particular tss so this is a traffic separation scheme presently this muifa storm is actually turning towards us and this is not a very good sign so this will be like the closest point of approach and uh, yeah the good part is that we will just narrowly escape it if you see so that red dot is our circle you know ahead of time so i am just uh, simulating plus 1 hour every time so we will pass through it and we'll be in korea but if this thing manages to you know come here and start the ruckus then we will be for sure outside anchored outside this place or maybe we'll have to go to this particular shelter area Have a look at this beautiful sunset. We are about to reach Taiwan Strait, and the sea again has become like a mirror because of the shelter from the island. it is day number 4 we are in taiwan strait with wind speed increased to 28 knots fishing boats because we are sheltered from the storm as i showed you you know the storm is somewhere here and this perhaps has sheltered us but in a few hours i assume that the weather is going to get even more choppy i'm going to go out and try to give you all some cinematic shots for now we have to advance our clocks because Korea is operating at plus nine, and we were at plus eight for the Chinese coastal. This here is the PA, and I'm gonna just give an announcement now. Attention, all crew! Attention, all crew! The ship's clock will advance by one hour at thirteen hundred. I repeat, the ship's clock will advance by one hour at thirteen hundred hours to GMT plus nine. Thank you, and have a good afternoon. Alright, guys. So, PA is basically for giving an announcement throughout the ship. We've got various uh, speakers like these all around. So, I informed the crew about the advance of the clocks. Whatever might be the case, guys, these fishing boats are crazy in China. I mean, the wind is so high, the sea is you know picking up, the storm is approaching, and these guys still want to fish.
Well, we have been lucky this time. The ship is not rolling or pitching that much. Uh, the storm is just right around the corner on our starboard side, around uh, 200 miles from here, the center. Let's check out the barometer and see the pressure. So, if we see, it is 1005. It has not dropped that much because we have avoided it, but it is right over there, the center, the eye of the storm. And uh, if you see on the barometer, if it drops below 990, that means we are into the center. So right now it's between rain and change. So of course, you see it's an overcast sky, rain is here. And I don't know how these fishing boats are not scared. Because technically, they should run away to the coast and uh, save themselves. But that's how life is here at sea. At the mercy of nature, always. The winds are estimated to be around 44 knots. Wave height 4.5 meters, 5 meters. Definitely we have more than 3 meters right now. And uh, it's changed its course heading to Shanghai. So generally the storm changes its course to northeast. But here it's going here. But it can change anytime. I'm going to increase the interval and see. So. Yeah, we will be safely alongside here in uh, our next port of Korea and the storm will start dying down and then we have to go from here to here. So let's see how that voyage will be. I hope you all are liking these geographical features of the ocean, the weather, you know, the mythological factors, various ocean movements, currents. Because since I was in my 7th or 8th grade, I used to love geography and that is one of the primary reasons why I joined this profession as well, something to do with geography. Bridge pilot boat alongside. Okay. Pilot on the rope. Okay. And that's how we safely made it to the port of Kwangyang in Korea with the cargo, the ship, the environment, and most importantly, our health in one piece.